President Obama uh, is going to be running for re-election, obviously. He's got a lot of concerns. The polling isn't good. Uh, but he's also got a lot of pressure from Republicans, as always, and Washington pundits, et cetera, lobbyists. So one of the things that they're giving him pressure on is the rules on smog. Now, uh, President Bush had uh, put together uh, lax regulation on smog, and one of the things that President Obama had campaigned on was, hey, we're going to make that much, much stronger. You're going to be shocked to find out that over the weekend, it turns out that President Obama didn't do that. In fact, he went back to standards that are worse than what President Bush did in 2008. He went back to the 97 standards, which are even more lax. So now first, let's uh, tell you what the smog uh, is. For those of you who don't know, it's ground level ozone. It's created when emissions from cars, power and chemical plants, refineries, etc., mixed with the sunlight, and it creates smog. We're all familiar with it, right? But it's also incredibly dangerous to our health. It depends on the amount of smog in the air. So you have to have a reasonable amount. Apparently, scientists believe we do not have a reasonable amount in a great number of American cities, and it is endangering our health. That's the Environmental Protection Agency scientists talking. So they have proposed this rule, which President Obama campaigned on, which he now absolutely rejects. So, uh, by the way, he'd also promised environmentalists and the American Lung Association, which was getting ready to sue on this, when he came in office, he said, oh, no, 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 T take a load off, man. Take it easy. You don't have to sue. Don't worry. We're going to do it. Of course, I, I'm the Democratic president. Obviously, we'll have new smog standards. Well, it turns out, not so. Now, how did the business community react to this? The right-wing Chamber of Commerce, led by Tom Donahue, said, quote, it is an enormous victory for America's job creators. Now, you know what job creators is. That's a synonym that Republicans and right-wingers use for the rich. So here is this right-wing organization saying, fantastic, an enormous victory for the rich, again delivered by President Obama. How can we thank you enough? Well, how about we spend hundreds of millions trying to get you defeated? <laughs> oh, but I'm sure the Chamber of Commerce, after this enormous victory, will back off of President Obama, right? They won't spend the money that they did in 2010 defeating Democrats, right? Right? Of course not. But Obama does it anyway. Here is how uh, the Associated Press uh, summarized uh, why Obama made this decision. Quote, White House officials said the president's decision was not the product of industry pressure. And they said the administration would continue to fight other efforts by Republicans to dismantle the EPA's authority. <laughs> when they say that it is not uh, <laughs> because of Republican pressure and industry pressure, that means it's because of Republican in and industry pressure. Second of all, Obama says after this major issue, environmentalists cared about this maybe more than any other issue that was in front of President Obama right now, right? He says, don't worry, later I will fight other Republican efforts to dismantle the EPA. Are you not merciful? Now, why did he do this? Well, even the EPA scientists say that these regulations will cost $90 billion a year extra. Now, as soon as I read that, I thought, <laughs> game over, end of this. There's no way Obama's going to do that. So now you have to understand something. We pay that cost anyway. That goes towards us having deteriorating health in all these different cities, and then us having to pay the bills for that, whether it's medical bills or everything else. It's just the industry transferring the cost onto all of us. But for Obama to make industry pay $90 billion a year, those business groups that finance the Democratic and Republican parties and his own reelection, for him to make them pay, pay what they actually owe so that we can actually have cleaner air? <laughs> President Obama, have you been paying attention? It is inconceivable that he would do that, and of course he didn't. Here's the final quote from President Obama on the issue. He says, uh, I will continue to stand with the hardworking men and women at the EPA as they strive every day to hold polluters accountable and protect our families from harmful, harmful pollution. That is, of course, except for what I just did. <laughs> yeah, after this enormous yet another betrayal, of the environmental movement and the EPA and his own scientists and doing exactly what Bush did, ignoring the scientists and actually setting standards that are worse than Bush's. Uh, but trust me, later I'll be a good guy. Later I'll be a progressive. Later I'll be a Democrat. You can just trust me that I'll stand with the good, hardworking people of this country and the EPA at a later time.
<laughs> have, how often have you heard that and how sick of it are you? I know I'm damn sick of it. And then this guy's running for re-election and wants progressives to vote for. Well, he's got a funny way of showing it.